fish on. This is crazy. Woo! Woo! Fish on. Another one. Woo! What is this? I'm not sure what this is, guys. It's a drew fish! Eww. Have a go at that! He just swallowed the hook. Hey anglers, today we're hitting the beach for some epic beach fishing action. Whether you are a seasoned angler or a beginner, I've got some valuable tips and techniques to help you reel in the big ones right from the shoreline. Let's dive in. First things first, Let's talk about gear. So what I'm currently using here is my 12 foot Shimano Speedmaster and a Shimano Saragossa 14,000 with a 40 pound braid. When beach fishing, you'll want a long sturdy rod capable of casting heavy weights. Spinning or surf casting rods in the 10 to 12 foot range or 9 foot are ideal. It also pays off if you pair it with a reliable spinning reel loaded with 15 to 30 pound braid, monofilament or braided line. So in this case here, I just put 40 pound braid because sometimes I have big tailors or big jewfish on the beach. So we need a stronger line. Now into baits and lures. For beach fishing, live bait like sandworms, prawns, squid, yakas, herring, Bonito or Taylor are excellent choices. Also, if you prefer lures or something like that, or you need to choose something shiny like spoons, your slugs, or even soft plastics that mimic what is in the area. Remember, you need to match the hatch. This is really basic for beach fishing. It also depends on the type of bait that's on during the day. So in this case here in a local area, you may use a herring or a slab of tailor. In here, as you can see, I still have my FG knot. FG knot is the best knot to use if you want to join the braid and the mono line. So in this case, I have a 60 pound shock leader. Location is crucial for beach fishing. Look for areas that has structure like sandbars, jetty or rocky outcrops where the fish can congregate or gather. Pay attention to the tides and currents. Like this one here. I'm really happy with the current because it's the incoming tide. Also when I'm beach fishing, I always match the incoming tide or the tide change between the sunset. This will also increase your chance of increasing a bite. Let's talk about casting. The key to a successful cast from the beach is distance and accuracy. Of course, you need to make sure you're casting in the right spot. Sp um, cast in the spot that has a uh, drop off or from the edge of the sandbar. Use a smooth controlled motion to cast your bait or lure beyond the breaking waves and into the deeper water. It doesn't matter if you're just beginning to cast, practice makes perfect. So don't be afraid to experiment with your casting technique. In fishing, you also need to be patient and be more observant. Once your line is in the water, it's time to play the waiting game. Patience is the key in beach fishing. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the scenery. Keep an eye for signs of fish activity such as birds diving or sometimes you can see bait fish jumping in the ocean as this can indicate a feeding frenzy or any feeding activities. I'm just gonna quickly talk to you about this new light that I purchased from Bunnings guys. Um, if you are night fishing, you're gonna need some sort of light. 
so it is 20 watts rechargeable work light input 12 volts DC lithium ion battery 3.7 this is my first time to use this tonight on this beat an adjustable stand and it has a hook as well that you can just hook it like that yeah, i think it's a good one so it has three settings you've got that this one and that one fish on fish on Ako. <laughs> ah, Taylor. I hope it's a Taylor. Yeah. Woo! It's fighting so hard. Yeah, man. It's a Taylor. Woo! That's a target species, guys. Phew. Taylor. Phew. <laughs> we got a Taylor of the beach. Molly, what's beach. this one, Molly? <laughs> nice, Taylor. Yeah. Yeah, let's see how big it is in the brag map. <laughs> the legal size for Taylor is 30. He is 38. That's good. Okay, let's cast our line as soon as possible. Hopefully they're still there. Alright guys, presenting our Arlec light. Yeah. From Bunnings, it's $69. Let's see how great is the light. So that's the first mode. Second mode, third mode. It's very bright. Good. And now we've got a shovel nose. I wonder there's no head shakes. <laughs> I just ripped my pants. Okay, let's see how big he is. He's 70. <laughs> just like a legal Jewy. Legal size Jewy. I'm gonna remove the mark the hook from his mouth. I'm just gonna need the pliers for this one. He did smash our hook. Look at that. He's gonna go back to the water. I'm gonna send him. Catch and release shovel now. So when I started burlying straight on, the bites just was just never ending. Make sure the bait is straight like that. Then we're gonna chuck it again. What is this one? <laughs> Woo! My reel is just screaming. I just put the I just put the sand spike and in less than a few seconds. Bang! Straight on! Fish on! Woohoo! Come on! Come on! 
Ah, ooh, those head shakes, guys. Those head shakes is crazy. Ooh, ooh, come on, please land. <laughs> yeah. Look at those head shakes, guys. This is insane! Ah. I think it's a tailor! Ah. Oh no, it's a Jewfish guys! Bah. Whew, it's a Jewfish! Eww. Have a go at that! He just swallowed the hook! I'm so stuck! Have a go at that! Whew. Let's go! In the brag mat you go! I thought that was a big tail, huh? Okay, let's go here! How big are you? Bang! 75! Or 70... yeah, 73.5! This is insane! Whew, what a dewy! What a session, guys! Whew, I'm so stoked! I'm so stoked! That's a big, big dewfish caught on a field chart! Whew. How good is that? Good size Jewy. Look at that. Smash the hook. Just gonna remove the hook. lost our sinker, I didn't realize. Yeah, that will Alright guys, we're ready to cast again. I just chucked some more burly in there. Let's see what we can get this time. Yeah. Good cast. Fish on! Other one! Yeah. What is this? I'm not sure what this is guys. Oh. So it's swimming towards me. To be a tailor? Ooh. Ooh. What is this? There's no head shake. Yep. This big guys. I'm sure it's a big one. It's really hard to guess what this is. Yeah. Could be a shovel nose. Ah, oh. oh, it's a tailor, guys. Whew. Nice one. Big tailor, bigger than the first one. So we, he he was foul foul hook. That's why it felt a bit heavier.
nice. Nice fish. Nice fish. Measure him with his brothers there. Forty-five, forty-six, forty-six centimeters. That's our second sailor. A beautiful fish, guys. And look at my bait guys, we could still use the one for Burley. They will cast another one. We will Burley this one. My bait is just simple, it's just a whole pili or pill charge. That's how you present a bait for a Dewey or a Taylor. It was a good session. At first we didn't get any bites, then when the tide changed, that's it, the big fish had come. So, as always guys, what I say to you when you're fishing, just be very patient, because patience guys will yield you like big fish like this, and it's always the key to success if you are patient. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, just chuck that one in the comment section. Big fish. Alright guys, it's time to pack up. Not sure how we will fit everything in here in my esky. We need a bigger esky. Start with this jewfish. Chuck the jewfish first. 